Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream. It's me, Forte07, and drawing times? Yeah, drawing times. Um, happy August. It is August 1st, uh, which according to this calendar, again, no, this is a 2019 calendar. Um, it's National Sandwich Month, and today is, is Spider-Man Day, apparently. Oh, tomorrow's National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Um, so yeah, why is it already August? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's kind of, uh, kind of hard to believe, huh? That's already, already August. Um, I think a part of me still hasn't accepted that fact, and I don't, I don't know where I am mentally in time and space. Um, it's not in August. That's where it's not. Anyway, so... Art stream. I, I mentioned this last week. Um, let me turn this down a teeny tiny bit. I mentioned this last week that we were... We were probably going to be back in with with portal 2 fan art uh because after we finished this up i realized the second version that i did is woefully sad um and and i need to fix it also you might have noticed i, I fixed his glasses and i played around with the shading some more i'm not sure if i even like it uh, which is why I didn't want to, to fiddle faddle around with it too much because it's like if I get in there and I fix things I'm going to like overdo it or I'm not going to like it or something and you know it, it did yeah I mean I don't know I said I didn't I didn't want to do like the, the super defined nostril and I ended up with one and I just I don't know. I don't. I, st I still don't know if I want it. When I fixed this the other day, um, I, I played around with the shading. When I say fixed it, I mean the glasses. The glasses were off, but they're fixed now. Um, and then I played around with the shading, and now I don't know if I like what I did with it. So, uh, yeah, this is this is the problem with me. Well, that looks better. It's not as in my face about it. Um. But anyway, this version is not the fucking point of today. Uh, the fucking point of today is to make is to make uh, this look more like this and not like crap. <laughs> uh, not like crap. Uh, so that's that's the goal for today is to to get through that um, because. It needs to be fixed. Ah, uh, so these other layers I have here. Well, that one can stay. We're probably going to delete them, like we did. This I'll keep there for now, I suppose. Um, and I guess we'll just jump right in. Uh, where's my? Oh. See, look, you, you can see how I fixed the glasses. They are too far over. Because now this layer doesn't even match that properly. And I'm trying to use the brush to fill this in. Um, so yeah, we're going to work on this today. Uh, it's going to be a slightly shorter stream. Uh, I got some things I need to take care of tonight. So I can't be I can't be streaming too, too long tonight. But, you know, I figured I can, I can do a little bit of this before getting my nose back down to the grindstone for other things um first things first I'm going to establish my light source where it's coming from because even this one I'm pretty sure if the lights coming from here well maybe we would get like the the I, I don't think the 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 tails of the coat would be this dark depending on where my light is because I want it to put those in and so, see that's another thing I want to fix and it's like I, I can't or we're I'm never gonna get it done so this we need to figure out where our light source is C 
because that's that's probably an important thing to do. Uh, we want it to do like a harsh thing coming down from up here, right? Yeah, I'll just. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do some sloppy blocking, which we had done before, but this time it's, it's gonna be even sloppier. Uh, and, and then we'll go from there. Then we'll go from there. How's everyone's, how's everyone's weekend? It's Sunday. Keep losing track of the days somehow. Again, I don't know where I'm, I actually am uh, a majority of the time. So that's always fun. A long weekend. Oh, I'm not familiar with Canadian holidays or reasons for long weekends. Why do you guys have a long weekend this, uh, this weekend? Didn't want to say weekend twice, but I did. <laughs> oh, lost the day to a cold. I'm sorry to hear that. I hate it when you like lose a whole day to something like that, especially when you feel it's like fine the first day, like the 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 day before. And I don't usually get like blindsided by colds. When I get a cold, it's um, it's it's pretty obvious. Like my my throat will start itching or something like that. And usually when my throat starts itching, then I start downing a copious amount of hot tea, chicken noodle soup, water, and cold medicine. Uh, and usually that, that, that hard, uh, that hard, uh, plan at the beginning usually kicks it out of my system before it gets too, too bad. I don't have time to be sick. <laughs> so we try to eliminate, uh, eliminate any chances of it getting too, too worse. I can't remember the last time- well, when did I ha last have a cold? I remember when I last was sick, really, but it's not like I keep track of stuff like that. It's just one of those things that happens. Civic holiday- oh, okay, gotcha. Well, it's like, you know, I always kind of forget, like, Canada has, like, a different- you have a different Thanksgiving, don't you guys? Like, what, the week before? Or later? Something like that, right? I live close enough to Canada, you think I would know? But, uh... Okay, yeah, that was what I thought. See, it always threw me off, too. My... So, my grandpa has family up in Canada, and we would have a family reunion in the summer, and it was always around, like, the 4th of July. So, a lot of the times, my family would go up to Canada for, like, the 4th of July weekend. Not all the time. It depends on when it was scheduled, but that was just when they held it for whatever reason. 
Um, and that always, I don't know, kind of messed with me because I thought, I th I'm, I, I'm sure like a, a young, some part of me when I was a child was like, oh, it's, you know, Independence Day here in Canada too. And that doesn't make any sense because I was a dumbass kid uh, and I don't, you know, just didn't know. Um, Of course, it's not like I keep track of like other countries' holidays either. It's one of those things you don't think too much about. Just kind of like the, the big ones, even if they're not like super important to the culture or still celebrated. Like Christmas, right? You know? Like in Japan, it's like they still kind of do Christmas stuff even though they're not into the, the religious connotations or whatever. I don't know if I'm... Um, this is... okay. If anything with this, we're just going to have like a lot of deeper shadows down here. I guess I'm worried about it actually not being as drastic as I thought it would be. But I already said this is what we're doing today, so this is what we're doing today. Um, Cause pride or fucking something, I don't know. Can't, can't deal with that other version. Because I can't. I don't know why I put this blotch down here. It looks silly. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Get rid of all this. We're making this... We're making this more of a mess than it needs to be. I just need to see where... Things are going. Like, maybe if I actually did, like... I don't know. Uh... If we did, like, a, a cast shadow. But will that, like... That'll dumb. <laughs> It'll look done, dumb if it, it gets done like that. Um, <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? Did I say cast shadow? It'd be a drop shadow, wouldn't it? No. I don't remember my fucking shadows. I don't know shadows. The only shadow I know is the hedgehog. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Um, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Right now... We're just, we're just gonna go do. Ah, oh, shit! I don't, yeah, okay, I need that on. Damn it. Oh yeah, it's, it's hard to believe it's, it's August. My fall's gonna be, like, picking up soon already. It's really, it's kind of chilly out today. Um, we got, it's been like on and off raining. And it almost feels like it's the beginning of fall with how chilly it is out right now. That's what it's making me think of. It's like, we still got a little ways until it's technically fall and it's, I don't know, it's it's throwing me off a little bit uh, with how much the weather's been fluctuating. Granted, I don't go outside, so it's not like it, it bothers me most of the time, but yeah, just having the door open today, it's like, man, it feels strange. Because August isn't a fall month. Fall starts in, like, September, right? It's still technically the August is still technically the summer. Fall doesn't start until school does. That's, like, the rule. <laughs> so blotchy. Oops. Uh, 
August is yeah. So usually it's like the the like it gets really warm. Like you know, I, I remember like I'd suffer in in July and June. It's like oh it's terrible, and then August comes and it's like remember fucking me. I was like oh dear God. I know a few times when I went down to Texas to visit family in August. It's like I just end up dying because Texas in August is fucking terrible. Just dry heats all the time. It was actually really, it was like, it was warm enough the other day that we had tornado warnings in my area. So it's like, that's, that's fun. I forgot about tornado season for some reason. Apparently there was a couple that touched down in the, not in my immediate area. My mom said that there was at least four reported. Where, I'm not sure. I don't usually watch the weather. But, uh, it's like, oh, that's right, tornado season. And tornadoes only really happen when it's, like, fucking terrible out. People, I mean, I don't like the winter any better, but at least we don't get tornadoes in the winter. I don't think I'd be able to cope. having to deal about hearing about tornadoes and the shitty cold weather and snow. That's not even how that works. Though to be honest, I don't think I've actually seen a tornado, like, had to, to deal with really being in a tornado. When I was in middle middle school, there was like a really bad storm. I was in school at the time and you know, that meant we all had to go sit out in the hallway for like ever until it blew over and they were like, okay, we can send the kids home. But again, it's like that was like forever ago. Not saying tornadoes don't happen and they're not bad, but it's like I'm not usually in an area where you you have to deal with them, I suppose. I don't know if I like any of the colors that are going on here at the moment. Maybe I subconsciously put on Splatoon because I knew I'd be making a mess. <laughs> That's what this is. This is just a mess. I remember having tornado drills in school, but I don't think one such down in my area my whole life. Yeah, it's like, we'd have, you know, drills and stuff like that, but that's all they were, except for, like, one time, and even, like, you know, apparently, I couldn't see any of the windows when it got bad, obviously, because you're not supposed to be near the windows during a fucking tornado, but, like, apparently, like, the, st the, the sky was green and shit like that. I don't know, my, this is what my mom said, because, you know, she was at home and didn't have to sit out in the hallway. I think the power might have gone out a few times because of the winds. Uh, but it, it was one of those, yeah, that it, it happened kind of deals and that was it. It's not like the school actually got destroyed or anything. Um... One time, where is my... My sister and I were... Where were we going? I think we were going down to, like, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio or something like that. We drove through an area, like, right after a tornado blew by. 
Uh, cause one, you heard it on the radio, and two, you saw just, like, houses and buildings, like, torn up and trees just kind of tossed around. It's like, that's a little scary that we just, we just missed a tornado, apparently. Um, and didn't know. <laughs> like, okay. I think our mom called us, like, where are you guys? Like, I was just passing through here. It's like, fuck. Tornado just passed through there. It's like, yeah, we can kind of tell there's shit everywhere. I think the area I live in, like, we get them, but it's not like we're along, a, a like, in the in one of the worst areas. Or one of the more tornado-prone areas. I live in Michigan, so the most we'll get is, like, you know, um, runoff from winds and storms from hurricanes down south. We'll get an occasional tornado, but, you know, we get hit hard with, with wintertime storms because of the lakes. The lakes just do whatever the fuck they want, which is usually make the snow worse. Um... Which, you know, yeah. It's not great. Of course, I can't say- I mean, we've gotten a few decent heavy snowfalls in the last couple of years, but it hasn't- Not to, like, go into, like, global warming talk. It's like, we'll get a decent, like, a really heavy snowfall, like, one day, and it'll be on the ground for, like, maybe a day, and then it'll melt two days later. Like, it doesn't- it's not lasting. It's like, I remember when I was younger, it's like, we'd get a blizzard and that was it. You, you, everything was closed for a really long period of time. Because the snow was just fucking ridiculous. Um, and you couldn't- couldn't really go anywhere or do anything. And the roads are a mess. Get- get freezing rain sometimes after snow and then everything would get encapsulated in ice. Which I always thought looked really cool snow days for like you know a couple days in a row because well everything sucks and it's frozen i think one time it was so bad like the the bus yard flooded or something like the 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 school buses got frozen into place by ice so it's like well can't take the kids to school with the buses because well the buses are frozen in the bus yard no school But again, that, that was, like, years ago. I think I was, again, middle school, maybe elementary school. Not that you can't get bad days, I just feel like I haven't heard them happening as often. Or as long, when it gets blizzardy in the area. I guess what I'm saying is, like, the weather around here has just been, like, we get bad spots, but it's been miles compared to things I remember back in my day. You know, to, to get to that point of the discussion. Again, I don't know if this looks good or if it's just muddy. It's just because everything else is flat. I'm never gonna learn. I'm just gonna feel bad until we get somewhere and look at the the other version and maybe I'll change my tune. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. This year's flown by. And it's just weird when I think about it. Don't like thinking about it, but you know. But yeah, tonight I need to, to work on some stuff around the house. Um, yesterday, I actually went out and hung out with some friends. My one friend was in from out of town. So we went to go do an escape room and went out to dinner, you know, stuff like that. We actually went to the mall, which is weird. Um, it's not that I haven't been to a mall recently, but the mall was fairly busy. Uh, compared to, you know, recent times. Like, actually kind of packed, I guess. And it's just, it's eerie, almost. Um, we went there because they, there's this new shake place in the mall. And yesterday was, you know, Harry Potter birthday thing. And they were doing themed shakes. Uh, for, for the event. Here, let me see if I can get a picture of them. Um, in the street. They were doing, they were butterbeer shakes, so like butterscotch shakes, that had decorations to go with the different houses, so four different shakes you could get. Um, they have some crazy shakes, and they are good, it's just, I, I didn't get one, I, I sipped on my sister's a little bit, just to taste it, because like, I, I couldn't have handled one by myself. Okay, here we go. So... Here, here are the shakes. Th these are like their, their general ones they have all the time. But see, look, they just th throw fucking everything on top of the shake. Um, but here's the Gryffindor one, and then you have the Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw ones. It's like, they're cute. Come with little chocolate frogs. Um, the little scarf cookie. Harry Potter glasses. They're for children, though, so they didn't really fit our heads at all so you know it, cute little thematic things uh we went out to one of their other locations i think last year it was around halloween for one of their halloween shakes and they had like this giant like chocolate tombstone in it um but you know crazy milkshakes oh and cakes Oh no, an Among Us cake. That cake looks sus. No, the milkshakes are pretty good. Um, like this one right here actually looks super good. I kind of want a cookies and cream one now that I've looked at it. The cosmic brownie one looks pretty good. The strawberry shortcake one's pretty. I'm just not a big, like, strawberry-flavored person. I like strawberries. I'll eat strawberries until I'm sick. Oh, the cookie dough one also looks good. Damn. See, I didn't get one. The other thing is we went to go and get milkshakes after we went out to lunch, and we had, like, a, a fairly big lunch, so it's like, I, I can't- I can't do one of these milkshakes! Um, they're, they're, too, they're too big, too big and fancy that they, they, you look at them as like, oh, that's a meal on its own. Um, so it's, it's one of those, you, you, you need to kind of go in only expecting to get just a milkshake if you're going to go get one of their milkshakes, but they are, they are very good. I love milkshakes too, but I'm, I'm usually pretty content with. A, a cookies and cream, like a, a plain cookies and cream milkshake, or um, just a chocolate one. You give me a chocolate milkshake, I'm usually pretty happy. I'm actually sad I haven't been down to, to visit my cousin in Texas in a while because um, in Texas, I don't think it's just Texas, I think it's like a, a southern restaurant chain in the states here, right? Uh, they have Brahms, which is like, you know, they do ice cream. And it's, it's kind of like how Dairy Queen also has, like, hot dogs and hamburgers. You know, it's like a, it's a restaurant chain. And they also have, like, a grocery store inside if you want to get, like, Brahms brand milk. Stuff like that. But, like, they're... They, they actually, you know, make 
milkshakes from hand dipped ice cream. So you can get a milkshake made out of any of their hand dipped flavors. And see, I just hate it when you go to a place and you want you want a milkshake and all they do is squirt like chocolate sauce into like vanilla soft serve and then they whip it up and like here you go. It's like no, that no, <laughs> I want chocolate ice cream and my fucking milkshake. Oh, there's a place near my parents. They with their with their milkshakes, at least their chocolate ones, they will make it with chocolate ice cream and chocolate milk. I'm like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Not white milk, chocolate milk. And my chocolate milkshake with chocolate ice cream. That's how you do it. Just <laughs> That's why I don't get like milkshakes from like McDonald's or something like that. It's like, no. Those are fake milkshakes. Those are fake shakes. They, they're not even the same thing. They're a disappointment is what they are. It's like I will go out of my way for a place that actually has an actual milkshake over, over that. It's just fucking disappointing shit, you know? They're, yeah, they are. Um, at this place, they're like 13, 14 bucks for a milkshake. It's like, damn. It's like, I wasn't. That's why I just tried my sister's. It's like, in butterscotch isn't bad. I just didn't know if I would even like it in, in a shake. It's like, I just. Like, if I was gonna get a shake at all, it's like, I, I just want a small chocolate milkshake. I don't need one of these giant kind of diabetes inducing ones. That and when I took a sip, I think like the straw was shoved in like a little, you know, squirt of like the, the butterscotch that they had in there. So it was super fucking sweet and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I like that because I just got, um, you know, kind of overwhelmed by the butterscotch flavor. It's like, oh boy. And I like butterscotch candy. It's like, I don't have anything against butterscotch. But not, you know, I don't need a straw full of just straight up butterscotch flavoring. Thank you. It's a little much. So. Yeah. That, and I'm pretty sure the last time I got a milkshake from there, like, it was, it's just really hard to finish it. Because it's not just the milkshake. They give you, like, little mini cupcake and a cookie and, like, chocolate and all this other stuff. And technically you can eat the sprinkles off the side of the cup because they're just held on there with, like, white chocolate or something like that, right? It's, like, just a, a lot and... It, it's like with gourmet cupcakes, right? It's like, okay, gourmet cupcakes are cool and all, but it's like, I just, I can't, I don't need that much of a cupcake. That and so many times when you go to a gourmet cupcake place, like, a lot of it is more frosting, it feels like to me, than it is cake. And it's like, I want, I want the cake part of this cupcake. I don't need all of the frosting on the planet on top of it, please. It's like, yeah, it looks cool, but it's like, sometimes it's just a little overwhelming, I suppose. And my sister likes that, and it's like, that's fine, it's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm happier with plainer desserts. Can you just give me a chocolate milkshake? I'm happy. Give me a chocolate cupcake? I'm pretty happy. Give me, like, a lava cake? Well, okay, that that's a, a little fancier, but damn, maybe pretty happy. Again, happy with it. I don't need like a whole candy shop worth of things topped on my on my cupcake necessarily. It's like when you go to like, you know, like a steakhouse or something or I don't know, even 
I think Applebee's has them. And, you know, they have, like, those giant, like, dessert cookies that you're supposed to split with people because they usually bring you out, like, two spoons because they don't expect two or three spoons because they don't expect one person to eat that because it's fucking jimongous. Then you get these cupcakes. They're like, no, it's one of those except you're supposed to eat it by yourself. It's like, okay, that's a little bit too much for me, Kay, thanks. Now, it's not like I don't like to indulge myself at times, but it's like, that's, that's too much. It's too, too much. Let's do the main body earlier on this time. Like, even when I, like, make kind of fancy, I'm gonna say kind of fancy decorated cakes, meaning I I just like to cut them into shapes. Like, I'm not doing anything fancy when it comes to, like, the flavoring or anything on it. I use a Funfetti box mix, and I'm perfectly content with Funfetti box mix. And the frosting isn't, like, anything crazy either. It's just, it's vanilla flavored buttercream. It's like, I'm usually pretty content with that. You give me a brownie, just a regular old brownie. It's like, okay, cool, brownie. Of course, if you put chocolate chips in that brownie, I'm not going to complain. But it's just, some sometimes you, you see stuff, especially like on a lot of those cooking shows, right? Or any of those baking shows. It's like, yeah, that stuff is cool and all, but damn, I just... I just want a cupcake. Especially things that use like an overabundance of fondant. It's like, what's what's even the point? I know for a while there, like my mom was hooked on Cake Boss and it's like so many of the cakes. Just, okay, I'll do a little, the base might be like actual like cake. And then everything else, like, well, we're going to be, you know, modeling it, so it's just all Rice Krispie. I'm like, Rice Krispies are great, but I ordered a cake. Not a Rice Krispie. Well, you got cake, it's the base. It's like, dude, 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 that's not the point. And then they cover it in fondant. Apparently not all fondant is bad, but, you know, everyone will swear up and down that it's not great either. And it's like, cool. Just put frosting on my cake. I like frosting. Just frosting. I don't. I don't know. Fondant isn't even tasty. I usually go for plain brownies, but my grandma used to make the best brownies with marshmallows on top and chocolate. Ooh, that does sound good. I like. I'm not a big marshmallow person. Um, like I'll have them on s'mores because you you that's you, you need it on a s'more. But it's like I'm not gonna just sit around and eat marshmallows. Uh. Marshmallows are just, you know, they're messy and sticky and they get everywhere. I'm not fond of that. Like, marshmallows in moderation are okay. Marshmallowation? <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um... But, uh... Yeah... The most I'll do, like, in, in things is like, okay, again, you have a lava cake, it's like there's just chocolate sauce in it, or like chocolate chips. It's like, that's fancy enough for me. There was a period where my sister, she, she would make waffles, and she would put Nutella on it, and chocolate chips, and peanut butter, and it's like, do you want any pancakes with all that sugar? Like, holy fuck unnecessary amount of stuff on waffles you know it's like when people get salads saying it's healthy and then they just drown it in like dressing it's like what's the point of that salad you just there's no the, 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 you just poured a half a bottle of like 
I don't know, dressings. I don't use salad dressings. I eat straight up lettuce because I'm weird. But it's like, you know, they're, they'll pour, pour a whole bottle of dressing on their salad. And I was like, D -d -d do you want salad with that? You might as well have just chugged the damn bottle of fucking dressing if you're going to do what you just did. <laughs> I don't know, it's just annoying. But again, I like to eat just lettuce, so I, I'm not someone you need to talk to about it, because... Because I don't have a problem. I'm just gonna eat lettuce and be content with my life. Maybe that is a problem. If I'm the, the type of person that just likes lettuce. My family says I was probably a rabbit in another life. I was like, yeah, okay. That's fine. I like lettuce. You give me a bag of lettuce and I'll eat it like a bag of chips and I'll be perfectly happy. I don't need anything else with it. I'm content with a bag of lettuce. Uh, I guess normally iceberg? I think that's, that's basically what I eat. Whatever is normally in the bag of shredded lettuce. I don't like shredded lettuce though. It gets it gets everywhere. I miss it when they used to have bags of like just like lettuce hunks. Um because it was easier to just eat that. But see people don't want to just eat that when they have a salad, they're just gonna chop up their lettuce themselves or just get shredded, I guess. So they don't seem to make those bags anymore, which makes me sad. So instead I'll just get a head of lettuce and chunk it up myself and eat it. One time I did that with a head of cabbage too, but cabbage of course doesn't taste... It's, it's bitterer than, than lettuce. So it's not as good to just sit there and eat a whole thing of... Another thing I recommend not ever sitting down and eating a whole... Uh, a single one by yourself of is a fucking I'm pretty sure this is common knowledge but I'm just gonna say it don't sit there and eat a whole pineapple by yourself because uh, your mouth and your lip like everything on your face and probably your throat will hate you for eating that much fucking pineapple just don't do it <laughs> uh, one time my my mom left me with my, we got a pineapple and my dad you know cut off all the outside and there's just pineapple rings sitting around and i sat there and i ate all of it don't do that <laughs> don't do it if you don't want to suffer <laughs> yes i am also don't eat a whole potato raw <laughs> um, story time see when, when we were growing up and my grandparents or aunt were making mashed potatoes, they, you know, chop up the potatoes to boil them before they mash them. And you just go by and you pop, you know, a piece of potato in your mouth and it's like, mmm, crunchy potato, yum yum. You know, you just do that a couple times and you're good. It's like, yay, raw potato. Well, a few years ago, it was like Thanksgiving and we were making mashed potatoes. And I don't know what compelled me, but I peeled a potato and I just, I ate it like it was an apple. I just had a peeled potato and I ate it like it was an apple. Um, and the next day I had to drive out to Chicago because I had a convention actually that weekend. This was around the holidays for some reason. I think it was like the end of November, so it was probably around Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, needless to say, that really messes with your system when you eat a whole potato. Uh, the human body does not like it when you eat a whole raw potato. That's just a lot of starch. And shit the body has to deal with and needless to say it kind of messes up your stomach um so I had a really tough time driving <laughs> to Chicago a four and a half hour drive and I'm kind of dying the whole way because I had to be a dingus and eat a whole fucking potato why because I was like it's a potato it's not gonna hurt me potatoes can be actually kind of dangerous if you weren't aware um Poisonous potatoes in Minecraft aren't a joke. If a potato skin starts to get green, do not eat it. It is not good for you. 
Because I guess there are things in potato skins that, you know, are kind of po actually poisonous to humans if you eat them in too large of amounts. Now, the potato I ate, it was not a green potato. It was a perfectly good potato. You're just also not supposed to eat, you know, that much raw potato in a sitting because you're not. You cook the potato for a reason. Don't eat the potato raw. Maybe a chunk here and there. But you don't eat the whole fucking potato. Um, this is a PSA from your local neighborhood forte about not eating whole goddamn potatoes. Again, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea at the time. I just did. And it wasn't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Too much nutmeg is poison. Yeah, it sounds about right. Everything in moderation. It's kind of like, you know, like apple seeds. Because those have, what, cyanide in them? Not that people are going around eating apple seeds, but, you know. Like, if you eat one or two on accident, you're not going to die, but maybe don't eat a shit ton of them. Not saying people are doing that, but, you know. Also, don't sit down and eat a whole jar of pickles by yourself unless you want to, like, you know, eat one, too much sodium, and two, so much sodium you retain a lot of water and you get, you know, kind of puffy. <laughs> when I get into things, and they be really dumb things, you know, I just I just have a bad time. I'm passing my lack of wisdom on to... The general populace that most people should know anyway but you know you've never stopped me incidentally I've been craving pickles lately I haven't had a pickle in a while but if I get into them I will eat too many of them and it'll be bad See, ginger is supposed to be like good for stomach aches. Ginger and peppermint. Chamomile. When I was having stomach problems like a few years ago, it's like I, I just was constantly looking up ways for my stomach to not be trying to murder me. Oh, okay, here, here's, an, here's another story of me eating too much of something and getting, like, actually really sick from it. Um, I don't mind a Reese's cup nowadays, right? But I am very distrusting of most things that are chocolate and peanut butter. And I know Reese's people argue, it's like, oh, that's not even real peanut butter. It's like, that's fine. The, the peanut butter and Reese's cups I can handle. But if there's anything else that has like chocolate and peanut butter in it, there's a good chance I will not eat it because I had a really bad experience one time with chocolate and peanut butter. So in this area, we have Morley's Chocolate Factory. It's a chocolate factory and they make, they make these blocks that, you know, you can break off pieces of them and that are filled with peanut butter. Let me go see if I can find a picture of Morley's. Morley's. Peanut butter. Peanut butter block. Here we go. This happened in middle school. So, do they have a... I'll just pull this out. So, th this is what I'm talking about. Is, is one of these. Right? Uh, a peanut butter. Peanut butter block. Um, y you notice this box. It says two individually wrapped blocks. And then you can break them into, into pieces. Right? Um... My mom, one time, handed me 
a box one of these boxes it's probably like this one this is the older box right handed me one of these handed a middle school a box of chocolate it's like oh here these are for you i guess she just really had faith that i wouldn't do what i ended up doing which was i sat there and i ate both blocks in a sitting because i really wanted them it was chocolate she handed me chocolate, and I was going to eat it. <laughs> well, the the peanut butter inside of them, it it take, it's, I can't I can't eat these anymore. I cannot eat peanut butter blocks anymore, because I I made myself sick eating both blocks, and like I just don't like the peanut butter that's actually inside of them. I don't think it tastes good. Um. But, like, the next day, I got, I was, like, ill. I think I got, like, a stomach bug, like, right after. But I remember going to school, and I had to go home early because I was ill. Like, I was running to the bathroom to throw up kind of ill because I ate too much. Like, it just upset my system or something like that. And that was the next day because I ate these, like, the night before somehow. And, and somehow it still affected me, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I remember, like, for some reason, I was working, I worked as, a like, a library assistant one year or, or a few years in in middle school and i remember like the the head librarian for like lunch they brought in sushi and everyone was like eating sushi and i'm like dying in the corner because i have like the stomach flu or stomach bug or something and i'm blaming it on fucking morley's peanut butter blocks um you know as as you do uh so if <laughs> if you do it don't 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 sit and eat both blocks Again, common sense. Uh, but I was in middle school and I didn't care. My mom gave me chocolate and I really wanted the chocolate. And it, it was bad. And and now, like I said, because of it, I, I can't eat... I can't eat most chocolate peanut butter combinations. Uh, Reese's, I can tolerate. Uh, well, actually, no, it's... It's, it's not tolerant. I'm fine with Reese's. I'll, I will eat too many Reese's in a sitting. If you let me. But it's like, I don't have, like, the same reaction. Like, but it, it, it depends on, like, the consistency and, like, the, the taste of peanut butter. Even in those pictures of the peanut butter blocks, the peanut butter makes me think a little bit of... Anybody have a dog and they have those little Kong things and you have that, that dog peanut butter you can squirt inside of it so the dog licks it out? It makes me think of that. And maybe that's why it's so off-putting. Because I think of dog peanut butter. They're not using, you know, dog peanut butter <laughs> in the peanut butter blocks. But I, like, something about the consistency or the look of it just makes me think of, like, spray can dog peanut butter for dog toys. And I'm like, mm, I can't do it. I refuse. No, thank you. I'm good. Um... My mom still forgets sometimes when she goes to like an outlet sale and she buys some of those peanut butter blocks. She'll ask like, oh, do you want one? I'm like, no. Get it, get it away from me. I'm going to be ill again if I eat one of those. Uh, just, <sighs> no, I, I can't. It's like, that's one of the few foods that I've like overindulged on that I, I can't really eat anymore that I, I recall um because like pickles and pineapple you know stuff like that it's like I can still eat those things but when it comes to chocolate and peanut butter it's like I'm now like oddly picky when it comes to what it is and I, I really can't think of like anything else that I've had like that much of a a reaction to not off the top of my head I'm sure if I do some deep diving maybe and it's like I'll just come across the food that I, I haven't ate in like fucking years and I'll remember why and be like Ugh. but yeah kids don't eat all the chocolate in a sitting again. Moderation is, is good. The reason why, you know, <laughs> they talk about it. So you don't fucking make yourself sick on on something. Some, especially something stupid.
Another story is like, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before, but when I was little, um, my family used to go pick strawberries a lot when I was younger, and I love strawberries. I love strawberries so much. Um, but you know, apparently, I, I don't remember this, but my, my mom loves to tell this story, and she, whenever I eat strawberries, you know, it gets mentioned um, in some way, shape, or form. But you know, we, we go pick strawberries, and then we take them back to like my grandparents' house or whatever to, to cut them up and clean them and, and, and freeze them or whatever we ended up doing with them. And apparently when I was young, like four, five, something like that, very young, um, we were my grandparents and they were washing up the strawberries and I run to my mom and get a strawberry, I go to my, my grand, like my dad if he was home, I don't remember. It's like I go to my mom, I go to my dad, I get a strawberry, I go to my grandma, she'd give me a strawberry, I go to my grandpa, he'd give me a strawberry. So I just ran between apparently all four adults, you know, getting a strawberry, because I wanted strawberries, they're cutting strawberries, give, give the child a strawberry. Well, apparently I ate so many, I guess it was too much for my system, because I was little or something you know, I was young, that I broke out in hives. I wasn't allergic to strawberries, but apparently I just broke out in hives. Um, and, you know, my grandparents and parents, like, freaked out because their child is now broken out in hives after eating too many goddamn strawberries. Um... And for a while there, they had to keep an eye on me around strawberries because they didn't know if I was, like, allergic to them or not. Turns out I'm not because it hasn't happened since, but it's, like, it's, it's still one of those things. Again, it gets brought up. It's, like, I know when my grandma was still living, every time I eat strawberries, she's, like, don't eat too many, you'll break out. It's, like, I know, grandma, but it hasn't happened since that incident. Like, every, every single time. So like, I'll sit there and eat pounds of strawberries and I'll be perfectly fine. But as a kid, strawberries, like, we're gonna make this kid look funky for eating too many of us. So that, that happened. It's like, okay. Again, I don't remember it. It's one of those stories you get told of dumb shit that happens when you're a kid and you're, you don't fucking know. Like, other than that, I don't think I even have any allergies. I don't even get seasonal allergies. I'm not, like, allergic to food or anything. So that was, like, maybe the closest I got to maybe being allergic to something. Without actually being allergic to it, I suppose. The closest story I can remember is being mad at my mom, so I bit off a big bite of Play-Doh. Oh no! It wasn't even shaped like food, it was just on Complato! How did that go? Like, was there, like, any major, like, health incidents like right after because of it. I always thought it was funny that they didn't want kids eating Play-Doh when they come out with like so many play sets. Like look you can make your Play-Doh look like food. It's like can you? Can you not? You, you make something look like food. A kid's stupid. They're gonna eat it. Probably. I got some. Where is it? I got some Play-Doh right here actually. Well, then I had to pee and for some reason couldn't spit out the Play-Doh, but it tasted bad, so I was sitting on the floor <laughs> Oh no. Say, so, I actually- it contains wheat. Oh no, was the lid not on? Oh no, it's- I say, I got some Play-Doh right here. Um, look at it. It's actually this- It's actually this lovely shade of purple with this purple Play-Doh. Camera doesn't do it justice. I got some Play-Doh here, though, for, uh, playing with, 
stress relief, whatever. I think my sis when my sister was here, um, last year, like, we went to the store one time, and they had, like, these little $1 things of, like, Play-Doh. She's like, oh, can we get some Play-Doh? It's like, I guess? I don't remember what color she got. Probably blue. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen, like, it, I, you look at the cap color, right? And you're like, oh, it's gonna be ugly purple. No, it's in a nice deep purple. I'm like, oh, that's pleasantly surprising to me. I hate it when people say, like, oh, orchid, that's purple. Like, that's orchid. That's, like, a pinkish purple. Go away. Like, I don't like that kind of purple. It's okay, but it's it's not my kind of purple. Orchid. <laughs> We never, I don't think we really had any of those Play-Doh kits when I was a kid growing up. I mean, we had Play-Doh, because I remember it, you know, fucking drying out and being upset that it dried out. But we never had any of the, any of the kits. I know we had some of the fancy Barbie set. No, well, not super fancy Barbie sets. We had some, I remember we had Vet Barbie. Um, and my sister had this giant pink barbie limousine i don't even think though that barbie limousine was it didn't feel like it was like officially licensed it felt like a, a cheap knockoff i mean barbies fit in it but uh it wasn't great my sister did have like i think a barbie jeep or was it was it a slug bug no she had a slug bug she had a blue barbie slug bug growing up We actually would play Barbies with our Pokemon toys. The Barbies would take care of the Pokemon. <laughs> it's like we already had the vet set. And Barbie pets are dumb. If you have Pokemon, then yeah, of course the Barbies are gonna take care of the Pokemon. Fuck the dog thing. My sister got into brats there, and I, I hate the design of brats, to be honest. I don't like the way they do the feet, or you just pop off their feet to change their shoes. It's like, well, okay, you can't have a barefoot... Well, I think they might have had, like, barefoot accessories for them, but it's like, okay, you can't have a barefoot brat. And I just didn't like the, the design of them. Brat designs creep me the fuck out. I was definitely more of a Lego kid growing up, though. And I didn't even have that many fancy Lego kits. My favorite Lego kit was, um, for, for Star Wars Episode One. they had Pod Racer. They had Pod Racer Lego kits. You could get Anakin and Sebulba. And I had Anakin's Pod Racer, and I loved that kit because I, I love the design of Anakin's pod in Episode One. But um, I, like most people, really like the pod race, even if it was episode one. But it's like, I adored that kit, and I don't think... I'm probably missing pieces to it. All the Legos are still at my mom's house. But I always had at least, like, a little car that utilized a lot of the pieces from, like, the pod. But it's like, I think about that kit frequently. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they re-released it since then, too. And my sister's like, why haven't you just bought, like, a new pod racer? I was like, I don't have any place to put a Lego pod racer. My cat would knock it over anyway and probably break it like everything else. Because he's kind of a butthole. Because he's a cat. It's like, he can't have Lego sets up. Sitting around as display objects when you have a cat. Cat's gonna knock it down and break it. Unless you, like, glue it together. And it's like, ah, oh, I don't like gluing Lego sets together, personally. Cats and Lego- yeah, no. It's like cats and puzzles. I keep getting in- I like doing jigsaw puzzles quite a lot. Uh, there's a period of time- my sister has a bunch of those, um, 
Kincaid Disney puzzles, and she wasn't putting th them together for whatever reason. So I was getting into them, and I was like putting a puzzle together like every couple of days. I just, I like to do puzzles, and when I start doing puzzles, it's hard to get me to stop. Um, but it's like, I can't, there's no way I could do a puzzle with my cat here. He would knock it off or steal a piece and it, it just wouldn't work and it kind of bums me out. The other day when I went to go visit my sister, we actually did a puzzle when I was at my parents for a bit and like, that was nice because again, I haven't done a puzzle in, in fucking forever. Uh, cause I just, I haven't had the time and it, with, again with my cat, it's like, ah, that's a bad idea for a piece and I'll never be able to finish my puzzle because cat fucking stole the puzzle piece probably one time when I was down in Texas uh, my grandma was down there too uh, I was staying at my cousin's house uh, at the time and we went over to my aunt's house this is before my cousin ended up buying my aunt's house because my aunt and uncle got an RV and they're like oh we don't need a house we're gonna go travel and whatnot right anyway so I was at my cousin's house for most of the week but we went over to go visit with my my aunt and uncle and grandma at my aunt's house and my uncle and grandma had started a puzzle now when I say they started a puzzle they had the border done and they had a few pieces on the inside like put in but we were only there a couple of hours and I'm like oh puzzle I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a few pieces right I sat there and I finished the whole puzzle and I felt bad. I was like, oh, they just started this. So I left one piece not put in. I was like, okay guys, I worked on the puzzle a bit. You guys can finish it. And they came in there. They're like, dude, and they're like, Phil, what the fuck? They didn't say that. My, my The rest of my family doesn't swear as much as I do, but <laughs> they weren't very happy. So the next time we came over, they had started another puzzle because their last puzzle somehow got finished. I don't know how. Uh, but they started another puzzle and they're like, you're not allowed to do this one. I'm like, okay. I just couldn't stop. I just, I, I started, I went and it got done and they weren't happy with me. They said I was allowed to help. <laughs> just not like that. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do the whole puzzle. They didn't. They didn't specify that rule. Again, they just left it sitting there. It, it, if you have a puzzle sitting there, that means it's it needs to be done, and it wasn't done. So I just. I just did what you do when you see a puzzle. You do the puzzle. Duh. Not that hard. <laughs> no I'm kidding. <laughs> You're so mad at me. <laughs> so, 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 so mad at me. <laughs> they had just started it that day, too. And they were pretty happy with their progress. And I just came in. I'm like, I finished it! <laughs> and then I get banned off for doing puzzles. Like I said, couldn't help it. Unfinished puzzle sitting right there on the table. They said, you know, to have a crack at it. See if you can get us further along. I got them further along. 99%. I left them the one piece. I could have put that last piece in. Then they'd have no puzzle. They still had a bit of a puzzle. <laughs> That's such an asshole move. I wasn't trying to be an asshole. I just did the puzzle. That's it. That is uh, literally it. And all this talk of puzzles, though, it just makes me really want to do a puzzle, and I can't. <laughs> I 
I was say, it's very quiet in here, but I don't actually have the TV on in the background for a change. I've been trying not to keep it on all damn day, if I can help it. Or at least I've been trying to avoid falling asleep with it on. Then I had the door open and it's like, I don't know, I've been trying to enjoy just outside sounds. There was a nice breeze today. I like the sound of wind. You know, stuff that old people like. I don't know. Of course, earlier today, I swear I heard someone yelling on the other side of the complex. I was like, that was a bit weird. There's a the type of yelling that you don't know if you should be concerned about it or not. like the worst kind of yelling. I'm still having problems finding stuff to watch. Like people send me videos um, and it's like and I'll, I'll, I'll watch them a little bit but it's like I've just been jumping from like all these different things. Lately, I was listening to, like, videos, uh, it was like, uh, not natural disasters, but just, like, kind of, like, real horror stuff. Shitty stuff like people dying in cave-ins or getting stuck in a cave or stuff like that. I don't know. Weirdly morbid crap. Like, interesting, but more- again, morbid. I don't know, I've been just going through like a- a creepy videos thing. Like I mentioned, it's like I- I've, I've fallen into the Walton Files rabbit hole of late. And like that's just where I've been. I watch enough Walton files though. I think I'm pretty desensitized to the stuff that was freaking me out in the middle of the night. So that's good. <laughs> I don't fear going down the hallway in the middle of the night as much as I was last week. Is what I'm getting at. And that's a plus in my book. That's a plus. I don't know. Things just haven't been keeping my full attention the greatest lately, though. Like, it, it'll happen a little bit, but it, I don't know. I think I'm just tired. So I'm having slight issues focusing, which always sucks. It's getting a little bit better, I want to say, but I don't know. I can't tell. All the way. I can't tell if this is looking okay or not. I don't know. I just find it, like, kind of a bummer. I can't find things to... I mean, I, I just said I'm like getting, I'm into the Walton file stuff right now. But at the same time, it's like there's just not a lot that's been catching my interest with other things. I don't know why I'm trying to color in this area. Um, that area is not selected. I 
I guess what I'm saying is like I've been feeling oddly like aimless lately. It's just kind of driving me a little bit bonkers. I don't like it. What should we do next? Pear? No, we just did those. Uh, I'll do potato later. Uh, let's do this. Do I not? Oh, it's the green one. So do I not fucking have a hair layer? Because that's not good. No, I do. It's, it's getting there. I like the other one better though. Um, I mean, we're still working on this one. Well, the other one feels a little bit more dynamic than this one is just from the get go. Again, I don't know if it's because I need to do a cast shadow. Is that what I'm thinking of? I'm going to look up shadows because I don't remember my shadow term or not. Yeah, it's a cast shadow. I don't know if I need like a, a cast shadow or what. Should go look up uh, lighting examples. Photography downward. No, I need like harsh downward. <laughs> Mine's not even harsh. This search result didn't give me jack shit. <laughs> I'm finding links because we're looking up lighting for photography. It's like, how to make your selfie pictures look better? Because that's what I, I mean, I guess that would be, that would be useful in this context. But at the same time, it's like, meh. I don't want to read about taking the, the best Instagram selfie you can take. I have an Instagram. I was going to use it for like art things and I just... I couldn't get into posting. There's already like a bazillion websites you're supposed to post on anyway, and it's like I just can't keep track of all of them. It's just a goddamn mess. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I understand why companies will have like a whole person just to do that one thing. It's time consuming and annoying. What I might do is I might slap like some rough shading on like every area here and then move on. So we have like, I don't know, a little bit more done before I, I wrap up for tonight. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm stream's gonna be a little shorter. So, uh, 
We're gonna end around 10 tonight. So an hour earlier than, than normal. Um, Cause I need to go take care of a few other things and I don't want it like necessarily interfering with stream tomorrow if I can help it. So we're gonna just cut tonight just a teeny tiny bit shorter than than normal. Uh, so I, I apologize. That's kind of on me. Um, being a little irresponsible. That, and I was, I mean, I, I went out and hung out with friends, like I said the other day, and it's like, that was a little bit more important to kind of get out and socialize. Not that I don't like socializing with you guys. I do. It's just, I, I get told I don't get out of the house enough. Um, so it's, it's probably good if I get out of the house a little bit more often. Um, instead of, <laughs> instead of being inside all day. There's been a few days lately, it's like, I'll, I'll look outside or I'll go outside just to like check the mail or something. It's like, wow, it's so nice out. And then I stay indoors. It's like, I'll think, it's like, oh, I should go for a bike ride. And then I don't, I just don't do that. When I probably should. So, you know. I got invited to go out for a little bit yesterday, so I, I did it. It's getting there. Do I not have a... A color block for the white area? I don't, do I? I think I said I didn't need one. Uh, fuck. Because I, can't, I should, I should probably have one. So let's go make one right now. I don't think I have one for the collar either, by the looks of it. It's a little annoying. Um, I don't know what color. We already have a yellow. I'm pretty sure we- ooh, shit. I'm pretty sure we have all the colors already accounted for, but whatever. Yeah, it's- it's- it, we're getting there. Kind of. Like, when I say I'm not gonna spend as much time, like, like, on the hair. Just because it's hair. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't... Motherfucker. Um, but yeah, it's like, I don't want to spend too, too much time, like, on, on the hair right this second. I wouldn't be rushing through things if we had, like, the extra hour, but we don't right now. Of course, next week, I don't know if I'm going to necessarily be revisiting this on stream. I think next week I'd like to actually do some some other projects that I keep mentioning instead. Um, if I do finish the- I, I'll, I'll probably touch up stuff 
uh, like, off stream. And then just post to whatever, like in the Discord online, what have you. Um, so we're not stuck on this for forever. Uh, and can get to, to some other stuff, which I think would be a bit more interesting or fun to do. You know, change of scenery. Uh, so that's, that's kind of where I'm sitting right now with things. It's fun to work on these, but I don't want it to be like the only thing we work on. And there is some, like, I, I want to, I want to do some animating stuff like that. And we haven't done much of that lately. Kind of bums me out. to use the selections because there's some stuff here that needs to be fixed without it. Like I said, I just don't want to be stuck on like the, the same thing for, for too, too long. Um, that and I should be opening up commissions soon, so maybe at one point we'll do like some, some commission things on stream again. Uh, but you know, that, that's a big we'll see. It depends on if I get any when I open them back up. Okay. What? Oh, shit. I was say, why is that erasing things? Because ah! it was set to do that. I don't want it to do that, obviously. Feels like there's a lot of stuff on this we could push more than I have it, but again, that's a, a tweaking thing. Let's do the hair real quick, because that's 
driving me crazy. Um, I was like, oh, that got drastic really fast. See, like that, that feels so much, mm. I mean, I don't really want to go that dark on everything, but. But we'll see how it looks after I, I do this. I say I have this up for a reason. I still think the other one looks better. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. Of course, this one I guess I'm, I'm kind of rushing a little bit too, so that doesn't help how I feel about, about things right now. Looks so bad. Why am I okay? I said I'm rushing, but not that much. She's oh, it's because I don't have blending on either, so that's just it's just sloppily putting everything on. I just feel like everything could be popped that much more. I'm worried about popping it too much because I don't want it to just get all desaturated and, and muddled and like, uh, I don't want it to be like a complete and total fucking mess. It's, it's like finding like a level of restraint without just doing like the, the deepest shadows on like everything. It's like I want it to be drastic but it's like do I want it to be that fucking drastic is is like the the real question because like yeah i could i could bump up all of these or bump all of these like so far down but it's like do i want to do that like one of those sure I could always pull it back kind of things if I don't like how it looks but I just I don't want to go too far with it too fast is part of the problem too like I could do that and that just ah, that's so drastic maybe it's necessary so I don't paint <laughs> All the lighting I do is always like pretty, pretty neutral considering it's I mean I guess the practice is good it's not it's not like the end of the world I'm just unsure about it I know there's like past times I've tried doing stuff like this and it's like I've always just been unsure about it like I have so little confidence in it I just get nervous oh, I just I feel like I'd have to get super drastic with everything
don't want to get I don't want it to get super muddy. That's the problem I have. Is like I mean I'm not using I'm just not going straight black, but it's like I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I wonder, will this look good if I did this? It's like if I desaturate it, it's, it doesn't pop as much. I'm getting I'm getting distracted. <laughs> like my deepest colors aren't even all that deep if I take away the color from it. And I think that's part of it. I was watching like a slight theory video I think when it came to like uh, shadows and it's like does it read if you squint? It's like you, you want your forms to read properly and it's like is it? And it's like I don't want to sit here squinting at my thing the whole time. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting distracted. I need we need to get this hair looking semi presentable and whatever this is is not semi presentable. It's it looks like I tried finger painting this on. Oh, finger painting. <laughs> you know, I never actually liked finger painting though. I like I don't mind getting messy when I when I work with like actual paint, but like sticking my finger in paint and just squishing it around on a piece of paper, I can't say is it's something I like to do. You know? Like I don't I guess I don't like the texture of it. Like I mean I like applying paint with a paintbrush. Like, that feeling is fine, but like, actually doing it with my finger straight onto the canvas or paper or whatever is like, no, not, not for me. There's certain things I like to get really messy with, like pastels. I like smearing pastels. I would say charcoal too, but charcoal just gets fucking everywhere so damn fast that it's like, it's not, it's just, a, it's more annoying. I feel like you get more charcoal on yourself than you do on the paper sometimes. I was like, god damn it, charcoal. Why do you have to be fucking difficult? It's fun to work with charcoal. I like working with, I like doing figure studies a lot with charcoal. Um... But it's such a mess sometimes. I always liked working with clay. And it's like, I wish I was better at sculpting. It's like, I do a little bit of sculpting, but it's like, it bums me out that a lot of the times when I sculpt, I can't get things to look the way I want them to. It's like, I get so jealous of those people that can like make perfect like recreations of like Pokemon drawings in clay or whatever, you know, they look correct. It's like, I'll, I'll try and do something and like all my proportions or whatever are off. And I just can't get it to like cooperate and it drives me batty. It's like the people that could sit down and draw something like this and then just turn around right after and then just go make it in clay and it would look like exactly like it. it's like go away. It's not fair. I want to be able to do that <laughs> and I can't. I'm not very, well, no, I, I can't, like, I get things that look kind of like it, but it's, it's just like, it's off. It's driving me crazy.
Even when I sculpt sometimes, like, digitally, it's like I have that problem. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm taking, like, the medium too seriously or something. And it, it just messes with how I work. But, or what? It just... just annoying but I can't seem to get it to work differently Well, it's getting there. I just, it just feels like everything needs to be, needs to be like even darker. I don't want to just... Oh. I don't want to just go straight to the black. Um, I don't want things... Again, I don't want things to get like all fucking muddy. When I just... I don't want things to get like washed out or just completely. Oh shit. just feels more interesting, you know? Of course, we also just have this giant fucking... These, these are throwing me off. Um... I mean, they're gonna be dark, too. go extreme shadow layers and you know, levels, you know? But I think I might have to. Maybe it's because I do have this highlight down here, it wouldn't make much sense. The highlight in the eye, I guess, also wouldn't make a lot of sense. Oh, that looks super sinister. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would work, but... Just being super indecisive right now. 
I think I just like how the other one came out so much that I just am having trouble being okay with this one. It doesn't look bad, it's just... The... The lighting for it doesn't... It doesn't... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Art is hard, and I'm not good at it. What? Oh, shit. Really wish I wouldn't do that. You don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so now I'm just switching colors because I can't. <laughs> Fucking mess is what this is. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> Uh, let's quickly shade in our potato. Our potato is not shaded in. That's a problem. Can't call this super lazy anymore, but it's like not as lazy, but I don't know how to feel about you. That sounds like a bad rom-com title. Not so lazy, but I don't know how I feel about you. Do some throw some highlights on this hair up here. Oh, hey, Brian. I hate to say this, tie becomes bad because I'm ending early tonight. You're in time to hear me whine about how I don't know what I'm doing, though. <laughs> I don't think I like this one as much as the first one. I think I was just super impressed with myself with that first one that everything else doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> No more art for me. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even need this fold here. Why am I putting a fold in here? I don't need that there. I want it there. It doesn't make sense there. I can make it make sense. No, I can't. I can't make sense of anything that I'm doing right this second. 
<laughs> I don't know if it is. That just looks bad. That looks like I just slapped it on there because I did. Let's get that out of there. Remove it. Um. Let's just airbrush things darker. Because I can do that. I'm just going to make everything messy. It's just gonna be messy. Drop shadow will make it better. No, the drop shadow makes it worse. That still looks really bad. <laughs> so I didn't do that. Um, I didn't do this. This is still going to be the same like light up stripe that I had it. I don't know what color I used. It was like an orange, orange, orangey, ogre. Again, I, if I if I fiddle faddle with I will be fiddle faddling with this for the rest of my goddamn life is the problem. Ah, oh my gosh, what a mess! I'm sorry, I wasn't planning on ending early. It's just I got some things I gotta take care of, so I was I was gonna wrap it up an hour earlier than normal. Of course, there's more people in here now. Why why are you guys all coming right now? <laughs> Started at eight, guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Life happens. It's a Sunday, and I draw late at night. Cheese. Uh. Uh. Oh, cheese it's. I did a cheese it's. I, I haven't allowed it yet, but I just want to know, let you know, so Automod is holding your message because you put my butt and gear in the sentence, and it says, held a message for reasons, sex-based terms. Okay. Okay, Twitch. <laughs> if you say so. I mean, I suppose. But at the same time, Twitch. Shut up. <laughs> my my butt gear, you know? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Don't talk about your butt gear here, Brian. How dare you? You're gonna get me in trouble with the Twitch Lords. I'm not actually mad. It's just dumb. <laughs> Don't think I'm mad. I'm not. I'm just crying inside because I attempt to think I know how to semi-paint and make things look interesting with fun lighting and it just looks like, it looks like poop! That and I'm rushing so it doesn't help the situation. I'm not a speed painter for an obvious reason. This is why we don't speed paint. Because um, one, it's been two hours and two, I, I'm not good with this thing called painting. I'm a faker. Don't get me wrong, it's like I have fun working like this, but I also don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um because I don't I don't generally work like this. Everything should be popped more, probably. This the, the first one just looks better. It's fun to do this though. It's like a rave party. I don't have- ooh no, we're not using that yellow, get that out of there. Oh, 
don't know why I do this to myself. I didn't even shade like the, the rest of the shit on this potato. <laughs> Part of that's also not helping, but I can ignore it for for a second. I hope I'm not hearing thunder when my doors are open. It, it's either my neighbors moving stuff around upstairs. Or it's thunder. I'm going to choose to believe it's my neighbor moving stuff. I'll go close the door later. No, it's it's my neighbors because I I don't think it yeah it has to be my neighbors. My computer says it's mostly cloudy out. I'll say it rained earlier today. Making it worse. I'm just making this worse. I like the first one better. Can I not? No, why? Oh, I didn't, I didn't do the cables. The cables on the back aren't going to fix the problems. What I'm doing right now aren't fixing the problems either, but I'm still going to do them because I, I don't know. We're, we're at the end of the, we're, we're at the end of the stream for right now anyway, so I'm probably going to wrap up here in like two seconds. button Poshadio At least it's not Poshadion because that would be the potato dark type version of Eevee, right? Poshadion There's already a dark type of Eevee, but you can have another one if you want. Umbreon isn't mixed with a potato, but Poshadion would be the the dark potato Pokemon. That's what that's what Nintendo is missing is a potato based Pokemon. Where's my we have an ice cream Pokemon. Where's my potato Pokemon? People would just eat it. That's why they don't have a potato Pokemon. Is there potato Pokemon yet? Yeah. Just need all the food based Pokemon. If you're gonna do an ice cream cone, you're you're obligated after that point to do other food based Pokemon. Cause I said so. And I make the rules, Nintendo. Apology, no, no, Brian. Half of the time I say stuff, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, right? And it's not like, well, I mean, I said something when I put up my stream announcement that I was doing a shorter stream tonight. But it's like, you know, it's not like I was, I said it like before the point, And if you don't follow the discord or the twitter and you're not gonna know so it's not a big deal nani why oh he was eating from that line i don't like this one as much the other one's better <laughs> i mean one day and I'll, I'll i'll attempt to fix it right now i'm not i'm not a big fan of this one I'm not a big fan of this one. This one makes me 
not as stoked as the other one did. The other one looks decent, but I guess we had an extra hour on it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop because if not, I'm gonna be here the rest of the night and I can't do that. I'm just... If I change... Do something with the background, maybe? What happens if I... Hmm... No, that doesn't fix it. <laughs> I don't know what I thought that would do. <laughs> uh, you know. What if I... What if we... What if I just... Oh, fuck. I, I need to wrap up. I really do. But what happens if I just, like... I don't know. Change where this is. It, that's not gonna do anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to do. This is a fruitless attempt to make this look better. It doesn't look good because I'm not good at this and I should have just quit when we were ahead with the other one. Uh, What happens if we just do like <laughs> do really lucky? Hold on, hold on. I got I got an idea. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I got an idea though. Shh shh sh sh no blend. Blend. Why aren't you blending? Because there's nothing behind it to blend it on to. That's part of the problem. What happens if I just like <laughs> I have a plan. <laughs> it's not gonna do it. <laughs> Gonna turn up my microphone a bit. Uh, okay. I, I, I turned it up a bit. <laughs> oh, no. Lumen. Nope. Yeah, fixed it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Get out of there. I don't like the second background. The first one, more, ugh, I just don't like it. <laughs> I like this one better. I like this one better. Again, it's just fun to do this, but I like this one better than this one. Anyway, I'm gonna go cry about it. Or something while I do other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up because if not, like I said, I'm just gonna be here for the rest of my fucking life. Uh, crying all day. I like how the nostrils not even the same between the two of these. What's consistency anyway? Um. Sorry, I'm having fun by being sad that I, I don't know. It's not as cool as I wanted it to be, and I don't know what I wanted. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I was winging it, and it didn't go very well. Anyway, um, we're gonna, we're gonna call it for tonight. Uh, Monday stream should, should still be a go. Uh, I don't really have any announcements right now. For anything it, it should be it should be business as usual um, again the only thing I really have coming up is is in a few weeks I have a, a convention but that's not for a couple of weeks now so there's no point in me bringing it up right this second um, Uh, yeah. Just, I don't, I don't have anything else to do except, like I said, whine about this not working out. Why am I still, guys, I said I had to stop. What am I doing? Just fucking shadow with the glasses. That's what I'm worried about. Of course it is. I'm worried about everything in this picture. Um didn't work out the way I wanted it to. 
and I'm bummed. Um, so it's Yoshi tomorrow, and then Pokemon on Wednesday, and and the Zeldas on on that other day. <laughs> what day is it? Friday. Uh, so yeah. Um, I should have commission info, new commission info going up soon. I meant to get that up earlier today, and I I didn't. Because I'm terrible and I apologize. Uh, so if you're looking for work, you know, hit me up. I could, I would, I would appreciate it. Uh, I got some things that I'm trying to raise. Why is that? Oh, because I'm doing it on the line art layer like a dingus. Um, I got some things coming up that I could, you know, use a little extra funding for. Uh... And I just, I like doing commission work, it just, it depends on if I, I have commission work. I don't know why I did that, that didn't change anything, that was just, just a, a mess. Um, I don't even, that's not how that would even work, is it? <laughs> Need to be done. Oh, uh, but I'm, oh shit, what? No, 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 whoa, no, 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 don't do what you just did, computer. Um. But yeah, I'm dragging this out for no reason because I'm just, I, I do that. Um, Twitter, Discord, you know, the usual things for updates if you're looking for them. Uh, especially with the fall coming up, I kind of recommend checking out either or because I do have like I just said, some shows on the horizon. So if I don't have streams on those weekends, I'm going to be posting news about when streams are up on there. So, you know, the Twitter and the discords are a good place to be for announcements. Um, I'll try and like start posting schedules like I used to when I was busier with cons before, you know, COVID hit to help with that. But you know, that's a, that's just a good thing to keep, those are good things to keep eyes on for when I get busier. Um, my brain's broken because I'm, I'm just upset. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will talk to you guys, uh, hopefully tomorrow for Yoshi. If not, whenever I talk to you next, uh great and i hope you take care until then um but for now i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys later so have a good one everybody uh thanks for tuning in sorry i'm ending on a i'm crying inside note but you know that's what happens with art you have a 50 50 chance of being ecstatic with how things are going or being sad um <laughs> there's 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 no other another split <laughs> it's one or the other <laughs> Never both. Or in between. I don't know. I don't know words right now. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And I, I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye.